Hi everyone, it is Dario and Anita with Pasha's Cooking. Cook together to stay together is what we say and what we do. And today we've got our cappuccinos ready and we wanted to talk to you about lamb. Well actually, Dario here needs to talk to you about lamb because I have never cooked it myself personally, so I can't give proper tips, but I know that you do. I've eaten it. I find sometimes it's difficult, it can be tough, it's not juicy, and it's kind of gamey tasting. Right. So, off to you, darling. Well, uh, happy pre-Easter, by the way. Uh, I hope you guys had or a... Passover, whatever that is oh, that you're doing. Passover, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. all the other things. Hope you guys had a great Good Friday, and tomorrow is Easter. So, lamb is a big, was a big staple in my family. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's something that my grandmother was a big thing on it. So we would go to the farmer, make sure we found the best lamb possible. And, and there are many ways you can do it, so people are more comfortable with a classical rack of lamb, or even better, a leg of lamb. So my way of doing it, so let's start from, with the rack of lamb. Uh, rack of lamb is fairly straightforward, you can go to your butcher, I recommend to use your Ontario lamb, use lamb that is local if you can, um, and make sure the lamb is completely clean, okay? You have a little bit of fat on your cap of the cap, which is the part of the tenderloin is on it, because you want some moisture. Lamb doesn't have very much fat in it, right? So you have to make sure that you keep some of that. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So th my favorite way to do it, okay, is always to marinate my lamb. Um, like, like a lot of people marinate it with red wine. With I keep it very, very simple, okay? So uh, because I think that's right, the lamb can be extremely strong uh, in flavor. So what I like to do, I kind of mask some of those flavor. So what am I doing with that? So I will use rosemary, thyme, a clove of garlic, some lemon, and some orange zest. Zest all these ingredients, chop them all up, and really cover the lamb with a little bit of olive oil, or vegetable oil even better, and let them marinate it there for at least two to three hours, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that we do not overdo it, okay? Okay. okay. So that's, that's my perfect. In the oven, 375 to 400 degrees. I mean, really, your internal temperature for a lamb to be medium rare should be 145 degree maximum, okay? okay. So okay. you want to make sure to keep it medium rare, okay? So you don't want to really overcook it. Now, they are the people that like a little bit overcooked, they don't want to see any blood in it, so well, okay, no problem. So you can keep 170. Again, thermometer. So what would you put the thermometer there? On the side where the bone are, okay? Try to don't obstruct the flesh or the tender loin of the lamb, otherwise the, all the juices are going to come out. We're going to keep it in the oven, we're going to give a good sear on the pan, we're going to put them in the oven, and when we take it out after 20, 25 minutes, what is the most important thing to do? Tent it. Tent it. So you want to tend that lamb rack approximately for 10, 10 minutes for sure. Let it rest, and then you just cut one chop at a time. Are, you, you, are you asking them to sear it in the pan, not in the oven? I would sear it in the pan. Okay. I would definitely sear it in the pan. Why? Because, I mean, a rack of lamb is any bone rack. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you really don't need to put them in the oven directly. You want to make sure if you have a good cast iron pan or any single pan, a hot sear on the pan, and then you can put it in the oven. Why? Because again, you want to make sure you, you mm -hmm. sear every single thing out. Okay, yeah. it's extremely important. Okay, good. So now, do people like sometimes when I've had it, it's been tough. Is that because they're overcooking it? No. Or is it the type of meat that they're buying? Is there something to look for? Yes. So now there, okay. there are two things and that's a, that's a good point. So one is because they remove way too much fat from the lamb. Oh, they cut the fat off before way, they cook it? Way too much. Because it doesn't have much fat in exactly. it already. Okay. Exactly. So, so what happened, there is now this flash of moisture that actually can keep the lamb together. Mm -hmm. Okay. And or, or, which is even the biggest problem, they cook in a cold oven or in a cold pan. So if you sear a lamb, you have to make sure that pan is really, 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 really hot. 
Oh, if, see, I would have, I would have done that exactly. in a cold. Okay. So if feed's not hot, what's gonna happen? It's gonna boil. So what happened? All the protein, all the water will come out, and you will not have any moisture. All the moisture will come out, and it will just boil. So that's important. So it's important that we have it extremely, extremely, extremely hot. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the second one is the leg of lamb. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, this is my favorite. Okay, so what we would do with leg of lamb, so you can have your butcher uh, deboning your leg, or you can be challenging enough, and maybe we'll show you one day in one yeah, video. Yeah, that'll be another video. Okay, yeah. and we can take out this leg of lamb. That is by far one of the most delicious things to eat. Okay, um, and, and it's versatile to do it. You I can, think I've ever had it. Oh, it's delicious. It's We're going to be cooking that one. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so, a uh, leg of lamb, I think, is probably the most delicious thing. It's basically like making a roast. Okay. Okay? So, you can take the bone out. You can cook it with the bone if you want. My favorite way of doing it, by far. Okay? It's almost like um, a Mediterranean pesto. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, we take the leg the bone, the center bone out of the lamb, and you open it almost like a butterfly. We season it, and then we make this mixture of rosemary, parsley, basil, lots of sage, and I put this spice, and it's very famous, it's called cardamom. Cardamom is very pungent, okay? And you just crush that really, really fine with your knife, and a little bit of fennel. Again, a lot of orange zest, a lot of lemon zest, and you're making this paste with a little bit of olive oil. Some black olives, and then you spread it on the flush side of the lamb. You roll it. Oh. Okay, and then you tie it with a butcher twine, and you make like a little roast. You season it outside, and again, this is a job you do 24 hours before. So it would sit for a while and, and the yeah. meat would soak up? Okay. Absolutely. So 24 hours before you do that. So yeah. how, what kind of temperature? So if you have a seven pound uh, lamb, you want to make sure that you really, you do it the day before, you take it out. And what do we do when we take it out? We leave it outside for 10, 15 minutes at room temperature before we do it. 325 degree oven until the internal temperature is 145 degrees to keep it medium rare. If you want it more cooked, okay, which I don't recommend because there is no bone there now, well then you can go 160, 165, but then it becomes, uh, you, you, you become to have a problem or be a little bit more, um, more tough. The other thing about lamb, especially for you that you don't like the strong flavor, a leg of lamb the way I've just explained to you with the pesto will be much lighter and you do not taste that strong, gamey flavor of the lamb. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, some people, that's why they like lamb, because they love the flavor, right? So yeah. um, it depends on what you want and, and what you're looking for. Yeah. So so to me, that's pers to, to me, that person is the best way to do it. The greatest thing, and that, that brings me back memory now. <laughs> uh, so <clears throat> how we will cook this leg of lamb. So when it's out, we will sear it again in a pan. I, and, I, and I believe a different maybe from the turkey that we can put directly in the oven. For a leg of lamb, I would like to sear it in a, in a large pan. Make sure we give a good searing all the way around the way you would do a roast. Then you put it in the, in the oven, in a, in a roasting pot with all your vegetables, your carrots, your celery, your onion. Whatever you like, yeah. Um, a clove of garlic and a little bit of water, mm -hmm. okay? And then we bake it in the oven. Three quarter true, what I absolutely love to do Get a little bit of potato, cut them in wedges, put them inside of all the juices, and squeeze the lemon juice inside. So oh, that and sounds it's so absolutely good. delicious. Yeah. It's one of my favorite things to do. Yeah. So that's a tradition of my house. Anyway. Yeah, I love it. You know what? I I always think that we need to cut things off quickly, but every time you come up with these amazing new tips, and it fascinates me that you've got it all up here. <laughs> Sometimes. I don't know how he does it, but you, you just have all these recipes up here and you just create and you do and you remember and you know what spices go with what and what flavoring and even 
with my taste buds, you've understood what that is and how to create for me and, and people in the family, right? So it's, well, it's quite fascinating how you can remember this all. Well, that's important. That's important to really understand. And, you know, everybody's got their own personal taste. And, and you know, the most important thing is that their own memory. And the memory from the childhood, the, the stick right here. And you can always change, but memory on memory for sure. So that's our tips for making Easter. the lamb. For Buona Pascua. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks everyone for joining us again. Passion is cooking for full videos. Go over to our YouTube channel, Passion is Cooking and uh, Lifestyle TV. And we have full recipes over there and videos and great tips. And uh, glad you joined us for today. Have a great weekend, everyone. Buona Pasqua.